In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to add transitions within Clipchamp video editor. Okay, so transitions are exceptionally useful when you want to add uh, join two clips so they look much more professional without having a deep cut within the two of them. So you can do you can add transitions in two ways. For example, right now we have we have this playhead. We can move from this image to or from this video to this one. Okay. We can see from this one that has been colored before to this one the transition is uh, you can see a transition okay so there are two ways to do it the first one is you can navigate across the end the connecting point between the two clips okay between clip one and clip two when you come to the center of it you can see add transition over here and you click on this plus sign and a default transition will be added okay and this default transition is usually the fed in transition so you can see the preview over here so it fits into that one so let's try to move this one away a little bit and then let's see how it is going to be yeah you can see it fits in and we can select the transition and increase or decrease the sizing of the transition okay we can select the transition and then we can come over here we can see this if you don't see it you can click over here and you'll be able to see and then you can change the duration right now it's set to one second the transition is set to one second and the default is cross fade if you want to increase it you can increase it to 2.5 seconds and you can see it is increasing from the other edge okay you can see it is increasing or decreases from the other edge as you saw so let's say we leave it at um, 1.5 second 1.58 seconds and let's try to see the transition effect over here you can see it all right so you can see the transition is cross fed you can put another one if you want for example we can try this heart you can select it and then try this heart uh, let's try to play it one more time you can see the transition i think that kind of looks cool or if you want these beams you can see uh, so as you hover over any of the transition you will be able to see the effect it's going to have on your video this liquid streak also is good you can select it and let's try to have a look you can see it and i think it looks looks cool so just pay attention to the transition you can uh, play around with the features you can add you can add or you can extend the period of the transition or reduce the period as you so wish and then you can have other transitions as well down here which are very free circular wipe you can see if you hover over it you have morph glitch if you hover over circular wipe you can see uh, i think it's good you can see zoom in okay you can zoom into any given point so let's let's select this for example let's zoom in and uh, let's see the effect it's going to have uh, you can see so i think it kind of looks cool yeah so it all boils down to you what you want as a transition but you can just go ahead and select from the multiple okay there are multiple transitions this is the first method to add from the uh, section or the connection connecting point between two clips so let's say at this point and we want to add something also from here uh, in between these clips let me undo and i want to add a transition between these two clips i can come to transitions over here you can see transitions over here and i can select select let's say i select this one drag and drop it okay so you can see you can drag and drop also and it has applied the transition and you can see the effect yeah i think this kind of looks cool so it all boils down to you please go ahead and give it a try and play with the different different ones that we have you can either apply from here apply from the middle or in between the two clips or you can come over here and do the same and drag and drop also within the clips and you're going to apply that transition uh, very nicely so i think this is uh, a bit about how to add transitions in clip champ to your video clips i think that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one